realizing that it is important for english language learners from around the world to be aware of world englishes that is the existence of different varieties of english many experts in world englishes and many researchers in world englishes have made efforts to bring world englishes to the language classroom in this module we'll talk about what kind of efforts are made by researchers and experts to introduce world englishes in the english language classroom there's a complete lack of awareness about different varieties of english among expanding circle learners um they think of english as only american or british variety the other varieties for them is not are not english it is because the textbooks that they learn english from or the english language teaching material that they are exposed to they represent only native english speakers so for them only native english is english and the english which is used by non native english speakers is not english so what is needed is um this awareness of differences between local and national varieties and international english um so there there should be strategies used to um make learners aware of not only the existence of the other varieties of english besides the native english variety but also uh, they should be aware of the differences between the local or national varieties of english and the international varieties of english um for this purpose several strategies are used one of the strategies is a contrastive analysis um contrastive analysis of indigenized varieties or local varieties and inner circle varieties of english um one study which used contrastive analysis to highlight the differences between an indigenized variety that is pakistani english and native variety of english uh, was conducted by baumgartner in 1987 um this study was conducted in pakistan bolan uh, balochistan university in quetta um the purpose was to highlight the differences in complementation in the use of english by pakistani english speakers and native english speakers for example the difference between these two structures he went to china for learning chinese versus he went to china to learn um chinese um, so a contrastive analysis of um the english used by native english speakers and pakistani english speakers was conducted and the idea was to raise pakistani english uh, learners english language learners and also english language teachers raise their awareness about these differences similarly other studies were conducted by Friedrich and Matsuda in Argentina and Japan respectively and the outcomes the findings of these studies showed that the learners in these countries were not aware of other varieties of english except british and american variety and therefore they were not familiar with the differences in different varieties so what we need is a world english is approach to be used in the classrooms which is likely to facilitate learning um when the learners are aware of the existence of different varieties they probably will um use a local variety as a target and using that local variety as a target they may end up as successful language learners whereas keeping um a native variety as a target and failing in achieving that target so the the different varieties uh, the awareness of different varieties uh, is very important for english language learners and this realization that different varieties are also legitimate there are also legitimate expressions of language that is english language and that the the fact that the english language is constantly changing and spreading as it is spread, spreading it is um inevitable that it will also change so this awareness is very important for english language learners um from all around the world especially in expanding and outer circle countries so that they have realistic goals and they 
emerge as successful language learners instead of keeping um, native english as their goal and ending up failing as english language learners